Our deputies responded to Knapp Medical Hospital with uh, reports of a uh, male with a gunshot wound that arrived there at the hospital. I can, I can tell you we do currently have one individual uh, in custody. Authorities calling it a targeted home invasion. Investigators at the scene where it all went down. Channel 5's Angela Vargas is there too. Following that investigation, he joins us live with more. We've been here in front of this house for more than four hours as investigators are behind this yellow tape, behind that wall, trying to piece together what happened in this investigation. Here's what we know so far from Hidalgo County Sheriff Eddie Guetta. He says early this morning, several people came to this home trying to steal drugs and money. Now in the process, 32-year-old Emmanuel Alvarado was shot and taken to the hospital where he later died. Witnesses at the hospital told investigators the location of the home on a Southeo Circle and Durango Drive in rural Westlaco. One neighbor tells us they are surprised this happened so close to their home. No, this hasn't happened before, but like I said, I'm always inside my house. I was coming from the store and everything was blocked off and I couldn't drive down the road to my house. Sheriff Guetta tells us Alvarado was shot inside the home. However, they are still investigating the homeowner at this time. And again, a homeowner Invest is it being investigated and right now investigators are still trying to piece together what happened as you know one person is in custody and one person did pass away i just want to also explain a little bit we talked to hidalgo county sheriff eddie getter off camera about the shots fired and you know, there was a fire shots fired back and forth and he did tell us that he believes no other shots were fired at any other homes because there is homes so close together in this neighborhood we did see about four or five school buses as we waited here during the time but we'll keep you updated and let you know what happens in this case we're reporting live in westlaco angelo vargas channel 5 news at six.